Hello and welcome to part two of the video series for Propagate Real-Time Sound Propagation for Unity 3D. Um, if you haven't seen the first video in this series, um, there's a link in the description below which you can click on. I recommend you do so now. Okay, let's get started. In this video, I'm just going to uh, tell you how to set up a level for Propagate. So the first thing you want to do is you go to Game Object audio and then you want to click here propagate node group so if you've ever used light probes before in unity it's very similar you simply place a bunch of nodes throughout your level and these nodes um, give propagate enough information to simulate uh, the audio propagation okay so once you have that in your scene uh, you just want to go ahead and click add node and your first node will be added to level there are these blue spheres here which you can see and you can click on them and they act like normal regular game objects um, so for this I'm just gonna go into sort of isometric view it makes it simpler to drag these around and you can press F to uh, focus on one of these and I'm just gonna make sure it's okay and then once you got one of those I find it's easy if you just do uh, control D or I think command D if you're on a Mac to duplicate it and then you can drag those out and you can see there's a blue line between the two nodes and that means it's connected so I'm just going to control D to duplicate them again I'm going to put a bunch of these around the room um, now the nice thing about propagate is uh, you can control the fidelity of the simulation by how many nodes you place in your level and propagate on its own is really super fast um, but if you got areas you're not too concerned about for audio and areas you really want high fidelity audio propagation then you just put no more nodes there to um, cover more space okay so here we have a door and so what I'm gonna do is duplicate this and put it past the door you'll notice it isn't connecting to the other one on the other side of the door um, so in order to do that you want to go over to here in the inspector click link node and then just click on the other node and it will link it for you and I'm going to do the same over here duplicate drag it over into the other room if you see that it is connecting you see there's a line here it probably means there's a gap in your colliders between these two doors let's see what's going on here so yes you can see the uh, this green edge here is the end of one collider and the green edge here is the end of the other collider so I'm just going to stretch these a bit um, because we don't want sound Maybe, maybe you do want sound to leak through the cracks, sort of the crack in the middle of the door. Um, for this demo, I don't want that. So if I go back to our audio propagate node group, um, if you just move it, it'll update. So there you go. So let's link this to that, and that's linked. I'm going to do this. Click link. Click on the other node. And then I'm just going to do one for the corner round here. Um, my advice is for corners sometimes you do want high fidelity so you might want to just duplicate that and move it closer to sort of the corner edge um, that will just add greater fidelity for when the sound sort of propagates around the corner once that's all done um, your scene is set up for audio propagation in the next video I'll explain how to add propagate audio sources and also explain all the settings that go along with that. Thanks for watching.